alimentação tem que ser uma alimentação tranquila, né? que, saudável, que você possa é, se alimentar de forma... Nourishment should be peaceful, healthy, so that you eat and have no discomforts, like gases in the stomach, cramps, and so on. You need to have a suitable diet. I'm telling this because we tend to eat carelessly. You have a heavy meal and after you try to have an astral projection, you'll surely have difficulties. You need to have a light meal that can easily be digested. Otherwise you have noises in the stomach, gases. You really won't be able to project yourself. Obesity. Look, the energy accumulated in the adipose tissue does not flow. It really doesn't. We should pay attention to obesity. Have a proper diet. As I said, your food needs to be balanced. You need to keep your body as healthy as possible, because this body is important for having astral projections. If you are out of shape or very fat, how are you going to have an astral projection? You'll need to. You'll be carrying a heavy load when you leave. In fact, our astral body takes some dimensions. It takes the dimensions of your physical body. If you are very thin, it's easier to leave the body. That's why all yogis are so thin, like fakirs. You surely feel much better. If you are very fat, you won't. You may even get out of the body, but without a good level of lucidity. I said, obesity is energy accumulated in fat tissues that doesn't flow freely. I'll say it again. It does not flow freely. Tiredness. If you are very tired, it will also be a problem. You need to rest at least a little. You can get out feeling tired, but only if you have some practice, if you have dedicated yourself to it for some time. But if you are starting to have astral projections, I think our body needs to have proper conditions to help you do things with ease and tranquility. Lack of knowledge. Without knowledge you do nothing. You tell someone you have astral projections. Look, I want to have astral projections too. What will the answer be? You need some knowledge, otherwise, how can you get out of the body? When we leave our body, we feel extremely fearful. You think you'll go to another world. No, you'll be in this same world. It's here where you'll leave your body. If you are in your bedroom, you'll leave there. You can obviously go to other places, but you'll normally be in your bedroom. You don't need to be scared. Ignorance leads us to mistakes. Mistakes due to fear. Fear is a terrible thing. Family problems. Family problems are like a war. Really a war. We need to be in harmony with our family. We need to be able to talk to them freely. Maybe you won't always talk about astral projection. Sometimes it won't be a problem. You can tell your parents, your siblings, and they will think it's great. But other times when you tell someone, they will be upset, they'll think you're crazy because you are projecting yourself. How can you explain that? So it's important to know how much we can say without complicating ourselves. Family problems can interfere in the environment making you have a lot of difficulties. About family problems, we should deal with them in the best way possible. 
If you want to have astral projections, try to be a nice person to everyone in your family, your parents, siblings, relatives, everyone. Be a calm person, because when you try something like that, family problems will get in your way and maybe you won't have astral projections. The next item is self-confrontation difficulties. This is very important in my opinion. Evaluate yourself all the time. Our fears destroy us. We need to analyze ourselves and keep an open mind, thinking you can achieve anything. Imagine, you leave your body. The moment you leave it, you are already scared. Then you go up, start seeing your town, people, the whole world. What if you go to another planet? What will you do? Your fear, our fear is huge. Fear hinders us. That's it. Self-confrontation difficulties and a narrow mind are terrible things. You can't have limited thinking. Internal dialogue. This is one of the biggest problems because we have an internal chatting all the time. We keep telling things to ourselves about our lives and if those things are not positive, you poison yourself. Then, everything is over. You don't want to do anything anymore. Even astral projections will be a burden for you. So, it's not good to have internal dialogues, that non-stop internal chat with ourselves, creating things that aren't positive for our lives. We need to pay attention to our thoughts, feelings and energy. This is crystal clear. Thoughts, feelings and energy. These can stop us from having astral projections. If you have. This is my opinion. Until the end of this course, you'll understand more about it. We can't feed ourselves with negative thoughts, bad feelings or heavy energies, which are difficult to deal with. Let's have positive, happy, and healthy thoughts, in order to succeed, get out of the body happily, calmly. Clothes and accessories. This is a piece of cake. You should wear comfortable and light clothes to get out easily, without any weight. Tight clothes aren't good. And you will succeed. Those are items to consider to have astral projections. Think about them and watch this video many times to have a better understanding. Many times we hear something and don't pay enough attention. Later you realize you should have paid more attention. Let's keep going. E, e a gente não dá, tá certo? Então vamos continuar. Would you like to participate in a work of energy giving from afar that is benefiting thousands of people? Click on the link below for more information.